Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a hat to go with the man that I designed. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 9cm wide by 5.5cm or 3.5 inches wide by 2 inches. The medium hat crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 6.5cm wide by 4cm or 2.5 inches wide by 1.5 inches. This small hat crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 4.5cm wide by 2.5cm or 1 and 3 quarter inches wide by 1 inch. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be a bit bigger than the four ply one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton for the hat. I've got 393 charcoal. For the band I'll just use an eight ply yarn in a lighter colour but you could use ribbon if you'd prefer. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends and just stitch the band down and scissors. Now we're starting on the top of the hat just above the brim there. I've got my 393 the charcoal and we start with 9 chain. For row 1, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 8 stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, we put the hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. So we need one single crochet in each of the next 7 chain as well. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 8 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet in each of the first 6 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. 
So we put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row five, we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. We put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. There's four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row six, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row 7, we're starting the shaping at the top of the hat. We start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet in the second stitch. We miss the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble, using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the second stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the half double crochet. Then we work one chain and work one half double crochet into the next stitch. Then work one chain and slip stitch into the last stitch. And that's the top of the hat except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we don't turn, we work one slip stitch into the next stitch and then work one single crochet in each stitch down the side. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each of our eight stitches along the bottom. Then one single crochet in each stitch up the side to the last stitch before the last row. We're going to work a slip stitch into the last stitch before the last row. And then work one slip stitch in that last stitch and fasten off. And that's the top of the hat done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work the brim. Now for the brim we'll start on this side. So we join our cotton to the first of the eight stitches. So it will be this stitch here. And we work six chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next four chain.
and work two single crochet into the last chain. And then work one single crochet into the join stitch there and one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches along the bottom. And then we work six chain. For row two, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. And then we spin the top of the hat around and work one single crochet into each of the next nine stitches. Work two single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each remaining stitch. For row three we turn our work and we'll work a joined slip stitch over the first two stitches. So put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and take it straight through the loops on the hook. And then work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. and two single crochet into the following stitch. Work one single crochet into each of the next ten stitches. Work two single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch until you have two left and work one slip stitch into each of the last two stitches. and fasten off. And that's the hat with the brim done. Now for the band I've just got my 
eight ply or DK double knit or light worsted and I'm just going to work enough chain to go across the top of my hat near the brim and around the back a little bit That's plenty. I won't weave in these ends. I'll use them to stitch it down. Now they're the pieces. I'll just weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now to make up the hat, all we need to do is to stitch the band around just above the brim and then fasten it down at the back. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished hat. And there's the finished cowboy hat. The size is 7 cm wide by 4.5 cm or 2 and 3 quarter inches wide by 1 and 3 quarter inches. And there's the hat attached to the man. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.